All right, we're not doing good. We're not doing good, guys. Hey, everyone, it's good to see you. My name is Silver Kit, and we are back with some more Power World. And I have built a wall. And the reason I've built this wall is because last episode, we got raided like four times, and I got tired of it. So uh, we built this wall. I built these roofs on top of it so we can look down and shoot invaders, or we can look through the window and shoot invaders. And since then, we've been raided like twice. And it worked out really well. They would all come run to this little corner here and then stare at the walls while we shot them from up top. I'm thinking of putting some traps here too, like some bear traps or something. So yeah, that's our little defensive wall. We even have Incineram up there on guard duty. So for the moment, we are safe from raids. Now I do know there are higher level raids that will absolutely destroy the walls, but hopefully we're not there yet. So who do we have working around the ranch today? We've got Rushor who is um, busy destroying this boulder. I suppose that's good. We've got Dramastag 2.0, who is killing the trees. I don't know why they're not working at the lumber and stone pit. Flack is watering. Tansy is planting. Then in the ranch, we got a couple giant pals. We have the Colonel, our giant chicken, and I also found the shiny Vixie. So she's hanging out here with the Colonel, still giving us tons of spheres. Oh yes, and this large building here, these are the new stables. This is the pal pad. So I moved all the pal beds from the deck up to these stables here, and I think it looks really nice, and they all have a place to sleep. And what I'm going to do is eventually move all the workstations out here to the deck, because out here I can assign pals to workstations. Okay, so what are we doing today? Well, we have been busy building up a fire team to go take on this boss right here, a level 17 Azure Robe. So yes, we have Blaze at level 23. Yeah. We have Ember at level 24. We have our new Incineram who I named Ifrit and he is level 21. And then we have a new guy, which I'm very excited about. And um, yes, now I am able to fly. And this is going to make things so much easier. But yeah, that is our fire team. And hopefully it'll be enough to take on that boss. So let's go do it. I have two gigaspheres. Hopefully I can capture this boss. Oh, there she is. All right, we're going to start out with Ember. And we are going to do our huggy fire. Ouch. <laughs> oh no, and I just realized something. I might have made a mistake. Fire does not seem to be as effective against water as I hoped. It might be grass that they're best against, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well, hopefully her team can handle this. Get Ivrit out of there. Uh, Blaze, your turn. Oh no. And I'm on fire, great. I would like to stop being on fire, please. All right, we're not doing good. We're not doing good, guys. We are not doing good at all. Oh, the bubbles. Oh, bubbles, no, no. Come on, Blaze. Dice, you go. You're level 22, you can take it, right? I'm just dodging. I'm letting them do all the work. Ah! Dodge, dodge, no. All right, Dice is doing pretty good. All right. Ugh. Please, 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 please. Oh, don't die. Oh, goodness, don't die. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. We did it. We did it. Oh, my goodness. That was a tough fight. Because like an idiot, I did not realize that fire is not good against water. You would think fire would be good against water, but no, it's the other way around. Fire is good against grass types, and water is good against fire types. Ugh. Well, we still got her. I consider that a win. Alright, I am just going to chill up here in this lovely flower field and wait for my health to regen. That was very close. Next time, let's make sure we know what we're doing. Alright, I think we've recovered enough to see what the syndicate is up to. Yeah, you guys uh, go after that brawn cherry like idiots. Ooh, grenadiers? No! No! Okay, what do we got in here? Toko Toko! Do I want an exploding toucan? I might as well grab him. Come on, Toko Toko! You're with us! Hang on! <laughs> There's a cow! I'm gonna beat it to death the old-fashioned way. No, no, no! Come back here! Come here, cow! No, what are you doing? Get back in there! No! Get your big fat butt in that sphere! Don't make me use a Megasphere on you. Alright, fine. Megasphere. Ha, 
There we go. All right, we got a cow. Let's go home, guys. It was a hard-fought battle, and I want to see what we got. All right, we are back home. Let's see this big serpent. Level 17 azure robe, and she's clumsy. Great. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. She is very cool. Wow, look at her. Uh, you don't do anything but water, but you do have watering three, which is really good. Hey, 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 come here. Where are you going? Hey, hey, come here. Let me pet you. Oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, do that. That's good. All right, so, uh, we also have these two electric eggs. And this is going to be for an electric team that I'm working on. So, let's see what we got. Dazzy, okay, and two Dazzies. Now, in terms of electric pals, I don't really have many. I have two little Joltogs, and that's it. Oh, she's one I can have out while I have other pals out. That's cool. Yeah, we're gonna have to go make her harness or necklace or something. There we go, Dazzy's necklace. We'll do that. I could ride the Azure robe. Do I want to do that? Yeah, why not? We'll unlock that. We'll unlock a fluffy pal bed. And that's it. That's all we can unlock. Oh, oh, I have ancient technology points, though. I'm going to get this hip lantern because that'll be super helpful. What do we need for a Dazzy necklace? Oh, good. We have all we need for a Dazzy necklace. Excellent. If I put a Dazzy in my team, they're both exactly the same. If I put a Dazzy in my team, I should be able to have her out. Yeah, there she is. And I should be able to have another one out. Bandworm, come here. Come, come here. No, stop moving. I know you can do this with Daydream, but I found Daydream constantly gets in the way. We're going to go to bed, and then we're going to try to level up these little lightning creatures. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to see if I can't make myself some armor. Metal armor. I need ingots. Soon I am going to have to build myself an iron base. Because we're going to need iron soon for everything. Okay, metal armor. Metal armor, metal armor. Actually, Loot Moon, where are you? Loot Moon, I need you. There he goes. Excellent. Let's get this done. So now we can replace our old armor. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. All right, so now we're going to take this little team of electric pals out and try to level them up a bit. Good job, Dazzy. Can I ride my... I can. Ah, I can ride my bird in the caves. Uh, small problem. <laughs> We don't appear to fit through doorways. Oh well, maybe the dire howl is best for this after all. Okay, boss chamber ahead. Who do we have today? Anything good? Kilimaris. Ugh, I don't want a giant squid. You free. Go take care of them, please. Oof. <laughs> That wasn't very long at all. Good work, team. There's another dungeon. Excellent. I'd say just one more dungeon boss. Our little electric team will be ready to take on a big water boss. And here we have a... Oh, a boss lift monk. I want one. I want it. All right, Ifrit. Be very careful. Do not cook them completely. All right, these guys are running away. Oh, goodness. Be careful, Ifrit. All right, you're, you come back. <laughs> come back. You are way too powerful. Oh, no. Dang it. I guess I should have run up there and smacked it with a bat. Okay, our little Jiltogs are level 16. And Dazzy's a level 15. You know what? I think we can do it. I think we can take this next bus. Oh, I suppose we should go fight the syndicate. Go, little joke called go. No. I do like that lightning damage. Crystal. You're free. Okay, our little electric team is leveled up. And we're gonna go see if we can't do this boss. Here we go. Sealed realm of the frozen wings. Yeah. And it is Pen King. Come here. I want to kill all of these stupid little pengals first. Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? Oh dear. Pen King is attacking. Pen King is attacking everyone. There we go. Very effective against Pen King. Stupid little pengalets. Get out of here. Alright, now we can focus on Pen King. 
Zot. <laughs> Oh, they are tearing them up! <laughs> when you bring the right element to a boss fight, it really does make a difference. And just like that! That was almost too easy. Alright, two bosses down. Hmm, do you reckon we can take on this Grintail? I bet we could. I bet we could take on Grintail. <laughs> we're just doing all the bosses today. All the bosses in the area that we can. I mean, we're on a roll. We might as well. And I kind of want... To get Grintail. Do I have a Gigasphere? I do not. Well, Megasphere will have to do. I believe the big Cheshire Cat is around here somewhere. Aha! There he is! Big old Cheshire Cat. Actually, he's probably closer to a Nekomata. Because he's got the twin tails. But he also looks like a Cheshire Cat. Alright, Ifrit. Go! You're up first. Woo hoo hoo hoo! I love how his eyes light up when you fight him. He's pretty cool. Alright, easy there, Ifrit. Don't hurt him too badly. Alright, All right, we're gonna take him out. <laughs> gonna pop in a little jolt hog. Go, little chill talk, go! Alright, enough, enough! Yeah. That wasn't a mega sphere. Try it again. No! Oh, did that! Dazzy, I'd appreciate it if you didn't. Come on, come on! Yes, I think we got him. Alright! <laughs> got the big scary Cheshire Cat. Hmm, what if anything is up at that very tippy top of that mountain? Let's check it out. I'm curious. There's gotta be something up here, right? I mean, it's a giant pillar. There has to be something up here. Oh, there is! There is an egg! Scorching egg! We will take. And we gotta camp down there, so of course we're gonna raid it. Even though it just has a Vixie. Ifrit, you're up. Go tear him up. There you go. Perfect. We are all about freeing creatures from the Syndicate. There you go, little Vixie. You're free to go to my ranch. <laughs> huh, what is this place? This place looks cool. I wonder if we can build a base in here. It looks pretty well protected. Oh, there's a skill fruit tree. Yoink! Yoink! Oh, another electric egg. Awesome. And an effigy! Oh, this is a great place. Sadly, I don't think there's enough room in here to really put a base. It is very well protected, but uh, that rock would make it hard. As I said, eventually I do want another base. An iron base would be fabulous, but it's getting to the point where our little base is getting kind of small. We're gonna have to move soon. Not sure where we're gonna move yet, but it's not quite time, I think. I think we have a little bit longer in our little base. Speaking of which, let's go home. Alright, and before the sun goes down... So here we have... <laughs> a Grintail. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Grintail, come here. Oh, look at this big kitty. Oh my goodness, you're so cool. <laughs> and these two little jolt hogs did well enough that I'm gonna give them a name. So this one will be Sparks, and his identical brother will be Spike. So we have Sparks and Spike. Okay, we've been exploring a little bit and grinding a little bit, and we now have a team ready to take on the final boss of the episode, the Big King Llama right here. So our team will consist of Ifrit, Loot Moon, Hookertees, just for the bonus dark damage to the team, and then this little Lee's Punk who I have called Edgelord. He just looks like an Edgelord with his little hoodie. And all of these guys are dark types, so I think... Uh, let me check, just to make sure. Yes, Dark is strong against neutral, which I believe King Paka is. So let's go kill some royalty. There he is. There's the big fat llama himself. Alright, let's see if we can't take out these annoying little llamas. Oh, 
Okay, that was overkill. Uh, I wasn't doing anything. Um, yes. Uh, I, I just found it like that. I, I, I just found it like that. Really. Where'd the other one go? Hello? Other little malpaca? I know you're hanging around, and when the battle is joined, you will be super annoying. What? What's going on? Over here? Oh. Really? Guys, I'm trying to do something and you're just gonna get in the way. Stop it. What's hitting you? Oh, come on, guys. I'm trying to do something. Right, where'd the little spark go? Okay, everyone is dead. Hang on. There's that malpaca. I knew you were hanging around somewhere. Hold still. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Efrit's already got the battle going. Alright, here we go. Oop! Oop! Ooh. Come on, we can take out this guy. Nope. Efret is a monster. He is a combat monster. No! No, thank you. I do not want to be a pancake. Alright. Just give some other guys a chance. Loop Moon, you go. Do your claw thing! Ooh! Yeah, uh, Loot Moon, you missed. Try again. There you go! Alright, um... Edgelord! Go for it! Oh, they're tearing him up! We might be overpowered for this fight. Oop! Alright, everybody come back inside. I'll take it over from here. Ow! Actually, um, who could ease? You do something. Okay, that should do it. Go! 17 is not good. Alright. Ah! You jumped over it. No. Still 17%. Come on. Come on. Yes, come on, do it. There it goes. All right. Well, we got a llama. All right, it has been an eventful episode, but before we go home, I wanted to show you guys something. So Van Worm and I went exploring, and right up here, where this Mossanda Lux is, we found something really special. First, we found this desert runaway, who I had never seen before. He must have come from the desert area, but no, that's not what I wanted to show you. Over here, where the Statue Land Bridge is, we found this beautiful little valley. And I think that this place is absolutely gorgeous. With the water and the trees and the cliffs, this is such a pretty little place. I mean, I know it's not the most flat land, and I know it doesn't have all the resources, but the view is just stunning. And I really like the area, so I've decided that eventually this is where our main base is going to be. Probably in this little grassy area right here. I know it's not very defensible, but that's what walls and turrets are for. And as an added bonus, down here, look who I found. The camp of the Black Marketeer. Hello, sir. We're going to be neighbors. I hope you're okay with that. What kind of pals do you have today? <gasps> oh my goodness. I want... All of these. Lunaris, Incineram Noct, and Warsect. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, how much money do I have? I don't have enough for all three of them. Okay, okay, let's think about this. He's brittle. I don't think I want him. I would love a Warsect, but he's clumsy. So I think I'm gonna see if I can't get the Lunaris. The Lunaris is amazing for handiwork. And I really love how they look. So we're going to get Lunaris. And I'm really tempted to buy Warsect. But we're going to hold off. We're going to hold off and hope that he'll get another one with better stats. But yes, this will be our new base area. Our main base area. And I just can't get over how pretty it is. And if you're interested in it, you can see the coordinates for it right in the left-hand corner there. If any of you want to come and build your bases here. But that's it for this episode, everyone. If you're enjoying this series, please be sure to give that like button a whack. Thank you all so much for watching, and the pals and I will see you in the next one.